you know, no airline could have done more to try and one address the issue and two deal with the consequences than Singapore did. Let's be fair to them and, and you know I'm not going to comment on what happened we know what happened we don't know why it happened um, the obviously the Singapore Transport Safety Board SQ itself and others are very interested in getting to the bottom of it but here's an airline that has an outstanding safety record um, operates in that part of the world as we know I think it was a bit unlucky and the effects were uh, felt throughout the whole industry and so you've got to you've got to bear with the uh, Singapore um, management as they they work their way through it. But I, I I've been very impressed about the way they've gone about <clears throat> admitting that they have an issue, well not not a, a safety issue that they were a bit unlucky, but how they dealt with the aftermath is a lesson to all of us in the business. So <clears throat> how is Emirates responding to this new focus on aviation safety and this issue of turbulence? Well, look. We, we have had, I sit on top of the safety management system in the business. Um, it is a very detailed management system and I de deal with it with the staff that are working on this full time. Uh, safety officers, I've got about 120 people in working in the safety side of things. And we are uncompromising in our approach to safety of operation in everything we do, whether it be ramp handling to flying the aeroplanes and how we fly them. Um, it is true that there has been an increase in turbulent activity and effects on almost on a random basis across our network. Um, so I don't think we're alone in this. The number of flights, of course, is increasing. So we've now got the same number of flights in 2024, 23, 24 as we had prior to COVID. So we're back to where we were. So. IATA is on this, we're looking at the capture of data, we're looking at AI to try and help us pinpoint when it's likely to happen again. The whole business is working on it, not just SQ or Emirates. Um, and we're determined that we will find a way in real time, i.e. when you hit turbulence you can communicate with others in the area, and to be able to try and predict what is on a random basis at the moment, the clear air turbulence which seems to be giving us most problems.